Thank you Fazibo for making this video possible. What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. Today, I wanna show you guys my 2022 dream desk setup because this is my first ever full blown out desk setup as a university student as well as a YouTuber. And I'd just like to thank Fazibo for sending out the black walnut standing desk. Now, Fazibo's having their Black Friday sale going on on November 25th to November 30th, and you can save up to $120. And if you use my special code MTG Productions, you can get a 5% discount code. Again, I'll be leaving these links in the description down below if you want to take a look. So, without further delay, let's dive right in. So obviously you can't have a desk set up without the desk. This is the Fazibo Black Walnut electric standing desk with a floating drawer. I can honestly say that the build, the look and the feel of this desk is just beautiful and very minimal. I feel super modern as well and I have come to love it. I'm now looking for more ways to make use of the desk in any way possible and I'm also looking for more ways to just sit down and say hey. I have to use my desk. Now, this has a unique design of the floating drawers in it, which brings a novel visual experience and the ambient light brings life to the desk. I gotta say, it's really beautiful. You have to see it in person to truly understand. Now, the floating drawer design brings both a practical and aesthetically pleasing look through the clever hidden base design and with these drawers I get to put in extra materials that I don't need to leave out on my desk. As for the keypad of the motor, it's fairly easy to use. There's an up and down, there's a one and two preset option as well as the ambient light key button. Now my first preset is at sitting position and standing is about 98 to where I can stand and get some homework done and ever since I've had this desk I've been using it while standing more often. I definitely feel much better. There's also two hooks on the side where I can hold my headphones. I currently have the Sony WH-1000XM3s. I have no need of upgrading to the XM4s or even the XM5s. These ones get the job done. Noise cancellation is on point. So everything really happens on this desk from getting homework done as a university student to uploading my videos on to the MTG Productions channel and stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because a lot more videos are coming real soon. Now let's talk about my main computer which is the M2 MacBook Air. So my device itself has 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. I think that's a sweet spot for me. Uh, it's my main computer for YouTube work but I've been using it more for schoolwork and I gotta say it performs great. Uh, if you're a student who uses Microsoft Office like Excel and Word quite frequently, if you're doing a little bit of coding here and there, for me, I'm using Google Docs, I'm using Google Sheets, I'm doing a bunch of Zoom calls, uh, and obviously YouTube work with Final Cut Pro and uploading to YouTube, I've had no hiccups whatsoever. Battery life is also a huge plus. I can take this out for a whole day and come back at night and I don't need to worry about it. Uh, I use Final Cut Pro, it takes about, after an hour of using, maybe 10% of the battery, which I get a lot of work done in Final Cut Pro in one hour, so for me, uh, that's really good battery life compared to my previous MacBook. Like I said, it doesn't have any hiccups, and my workflow doesn't require a lot of power, about three to four frames of 1080p footage, with some extra transitions and effects for my videos. Uh, and nonetheless, it's performs great both in work and in school. Next up is the Samsung M8 monitor. So this 4K 60 Hertz monitor, 32 inch, I absolutely love it. It's minimal, it has a clean design. It has been a huge help in school since now I can have multiple pages open at once and it saves me a lot of time also helps with editing videos because now i can view more content on a larger screen i mean 32 inches that's it's just great the great feature that i also like about this is that it's not just any monitor it's a smart monitor which it has tv like features i can watch almost any channel that i like and i can also use it for streaming apps like netflix disney or even watch my favorite youtubers 
This recent purchase, the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini Keyboard, I'm glad I made this purchase. It's become one of my favorite purchases of this year, and I never knew I would love a keyboard so much. It's compact, yet usable. It's built very well and durable. Now, I'm no keyboard or mechanical keyboard fanatic, but for me, it gets the job done. That's what I look for the most. Now, I appreciate the smart illumination of the keyboard. It senses the approach of my hand and when I'm about to type. And I noticed that recently, and now I pay attention to, to it a little bit more, and it really gets me excited. I don't know why. Uh, the switches are very clicky, and they support USB-C. They support Windows, Linux, and iOS. So that's a plus. It lasts up to 15 days with the backlight turned on with a single charge, and up to 10 months with the backlight turned off. I personally have mine turned on. I've had this for more than two weeks, and I still haven't had to charge yet so that's that's a good thing right next up is the logitech mx master 3 i don't have the mx master 3s the 3 is fine for me i've been using the mx master lineup since the first gen and i've absolutely come to love the ergonomics on them so i did upgrade from the mx master 1 to the 3 and for me the biggest thing was the jump from micro usb to usb c it's really smooth i'm able to connect it to three different devices whenever i need to and it's it's not the smallest mouse but it's still compact and portable enough for me to carry wherever i need to take it with me you can't really have a desk set up without playing some games, right? I have the Nintendo Switch right here. I mainly play games from the Pokemon franchise like Legends, Arceus, and I actually picked up Scarlet and Violet as um, I am making this video. So I have not gotten to them because I picked up the double pack. Uh, anyway, I'm not too active on my Switch because of work from school. It takes up a lot of time and for the YouTube channel. But during my winter break, I'll definitely be putting in more time into my Switch and more time into my Pokemon games. And it goes great with the Samsung M8 monitor. It's really, it's a large monitor, 32 inch. So playing Pokemon on the big screen, if you haven't tried it, it's a must. And the great thing is if I ever want to travel with the Switch, I can take it with me because it's portable too. As for speakers, uh, I actually saw these speakers from a good friend of mine and he has the white version of these speakers. But white would not go with this setup, so I decided to go for the black one. They're pretty affordable. I got mine for 60 bucks. Again, I'll be leaving links of all these products in the description down below. They look great, and they sound great for the price. This is a 3.5 millimeter aux and Bluetooth 5.0, USB-A connection with built-in 24-bit uh, DAC. There's a 60-watt carbon fiber speaker unit, an on-speaker adjustable volume. There's bass and treble. And I mainly use the speakers when I'm watching movies or editing videos on Final Cut Pro. And I just like how they look more than the sound. So uh, if you want to take a look, I'll be leaving links in the description down below. Next up is the ESR 3-in-1 charger. This is my main method to charge my iPhone, especially by wirelessly charging it. I MagSafe charge my iPhone, but I also use it to charge my AirPods as well as my Apple Watch SE. Now, I love the fan on the charger uh, because when I place it on the charger, first of all, there's a light that, that opens up. It's a backlight that turns on and it keeps my phone cool while it's charging because of the fan. It's great. If you want to take a look at this, this is a accessory for an for your iPhone, AirPods, and Apple Watch, a three one that I definitely recommend. Now this right here, the Reggie Drago plush, uh, I just wanted to spruce things up with a Pokemon plush, so I just bought it. it looks pretty nice, and I just put it there, and I I think it it brings it brings some uh, life to my desk. So when I make YouTube videos and I have to use my desk, I kind of need some sort of portable and a small light. And I have the Elgato Key Light Air. So it's Wi-Fi enabled and I use my phone with it. So it's easily able to switch on and off through the app. The light air gets very bright at 1400 lumens, but also really dim when I want to work in a very subtle environment. I can also adjust the temperature of the light as well, from sunset amber to arctic blue. In my use, I've never noticed the light get warm to the touch at all. 
Shifting over to the right, this is not on my desk, but it's a part of my desk setup. The iPad Mini 6 with the Pataka wireless charger. So the iPad Mini 6, it's been one of my favorite purchases of all time. I've made a bunch of videos on the channel of the iPad Mini 6, so be sure to check those out. Now I mainly use it for viewing content when I'm at my desk, particularly watching videos or letting videos run in the background as I'm doing homework. I just need some sort of visual video, like visual something running in the background as I'm getting homework done. And the Pataka charger, this quote unquote wirelessly charges the iPad mini six and the stand itself also has a wireless charger. So now I have two wireless chargers on my desk set up. So I can say as a YouTuber and a college student, I'm really happy that this is my desk. And in fact, this is my first desk setup and I, that I'm able to get everything done on time. So once again, thank you Fazebo for sending out this black walnut electric standing desk with the floating drawer. Absolutely love it. Again, be sure to check out the links in the description down below. Fazebo's having their Black Friday deals going on from November 25th to November 30th. You can save up to $120. And if you use the special code MTG Productions, you'll get a 5% discount code. Thank you all so much for tuning in in today's episode, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.